All right, in this video, I want to show you what an annuity is and how it works. Um, and the difference between an annuity is that you're going to make periodic deposits throughout a given year and throughout given years, I should say, uh, and not just one single deposit. Um, so you're going to see what that looks like here in just a moment. But um, annuities are d multiple deposits. That's the key. Well, let's look at this example here. Um, at age 30, to save for retirement, you decide to deposit $200 at the end of every month uh, into an IRA, which stands for Individual Retirement Account, and that account pays 13.8% compounded monthly. And we're being asked two things here. A, which is how much will you have in the IRA when you retire at age 65, and, well, how much interest will be earned in this account. So I'm going to begin with the formula for an annuity, and it's this one here. A, which stands for the final value, is equal to P, which is the periodic deposits. And in our case, our periodic deposit is $200 times, and then in the quantity, in, in the smaller parentheses, is always 1 plus the rate, which in this example our rate is 13.8 percent but notice that I'm going to write the rate as a decimal not as a percent so we're going to take the decimal and move it two places to the left all right uh, and then we're going to divide that rate by n and in our example our n is 12 because it's compounded monthly uh, and then we're going to take that quantity of 1 plus rate divided by n uh, and we're going to raise it to the n times t uh, in our case, our t is going to be 65 minus 30 because we're going to retire at age 65 and we're starting this IRA at age 30, so it's a total of 35 years. We're going to take that quantity and subtract 1 from it. We'll multiply it by p, and then we're going to divide all of that by, again, this same ratio that we have up here, which is uh, our rate divided by n. So when we plug all of those values into this formula, this is what our setup is going to look like. This is how we set up the formula. Some of you have calculators that can do this all in one shot. Some of you need to do this step by step in your calculator. And so if you're going to do this step by step, I suggest you start right here. I suggest you start with the rate divided by the compounding, which is 12 in this case. So I brought up the calculator here on my computer, and I simply multiply, sorry, I simply divided 0.138 by 12 and this is what I came up with of uh, 0 0.0115. Then we'll, then we'll do next, before we do this uh, this exponent, what we do next is we add 1 to that right? and we get 1.0115 and, um, and as I'm doing this you're going to see that I'm going to leave as many decimals on my calculator as possible. Okay, uh, Don't do any rounding until the very end of the problem. Okay, now I need to raise this to the uh, whatever 12 times 35 is. So to show you how exponents work, I guess I should uh, switch over. I, I changed my view of the calculator over here to scientific instead of to standard so that I can use this exponent button here um, of taking something and raising it to a power. So the first thing I should probably do is figure out what is 12 times 35, and you can do that on your own if, if you want on the side. And you'll see that that value comes out to 420. So I'm going to raise this 1.0115 to the power of 420. And when I do that, I get this really big long decimal. Now, this gives me a lot more decimals that maybe your calculator will show you, your handheld calculator. So you really only need to, I don't know, maybe go out seven or eight decimal places. But, you know, keep whatever your calculator is showing you on, you know, on paper. Write the whole thing out. Don't do any rounding at this point yet, okay? Now, from this, we need to subtract, um, we need to subtract one. So we're going to do that now. All right. And then we're going to now multiply this times 200. Okay, so this is what my numerator is going to be. It's roughly 24,161 point, and then I've got a bunch of decimals. So again, keep whatever your calculator is showing you, um, as many decimals as possible. That's going to be your numerator. Okay, we're almost done here. So remember what we're going to do now is we're going to take this numerator and we're going to divide by um, 
this r divided by n. All right? In our case, our r divided by n is 0.138 divided by 12. And earlier, we found that 0.138 divided by 12 was 0 0.0115. And so we're going to divide it by this, and you'll see what our value comes out to be. Now, this is money, so I'm going to round this off to two decimal places. And we're going to come up with a value of $2,100,992.95. Um, that, that's pretty good. But even more than that, let's figure out what the interest earned is. And the way that we, f that we find out what interest is, we first want to know how much did we deposit into this account? You know, how much money did we put in ourselves over the, the many years and the many times that we did this? And so you can see very easily that we put in $200 and we did this um, every month, so we're going to multiply that by 12. And then we did this for a total of 35 years. So this is going to give us how much money we put in and how much we deposited over the entire life of this IRA. So I hope you see that when you multiply 200 times 12 times 35, you get $84,000. That's how much we deposited. So the interest that this account earns is always going to be the final value amount, that's, the, this, that's this A that we calculated earlier, a little over $2 million, minus the deposit, how much we put in, which comes out to a little over $2 million. That's $2,016,992.85. That's how much money our $84,000 earned for us. All right, It earned an interest of just over two million dollars, two million sixteen thousand, or, or thereabouts, almost two million seventeen thousand dollars for us. Um, that's pretty powerful. Granted, that was a pretty good interest rate of thirteen point eight percent, and we did this for thirty-five years. When those two numbers are pretty large, you get a lot of money out of it. So that's how an annuity works.